everybody. It is Heather here and I am at New Hampshire Motor Speedway today and tomorrow for the Northeast Classic. My dad is running an ACT late model. There's also past the past um, super late models here, modifieds, mini stocks. There might be something else too that I'm missing. So it's a two day show. Today's just practice. And then tomorrow will be the race and qualifying and all of that. So stay tuned for a great day. And if you are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. Dad, are you ready to take this car out to practice? Yep, I'm all ready. I think. I think so. It's been a while. It's been a long winter. Yes. You guys have been racing though, so kind of in the mindset already. They're pretty good because I can't hear anything. Oh, that's good. Try these new ear molds, I don't know, falling out already. More tape? You can try them like this, see if they work. All right. So I need to figure that out, make some adjustments. Um, but yeah, hopefully the guys do well and they're fast and the cars feel good. So tomorrow we'll go smooth.
we'll see if they can make it back out for one more round and um, see if they can make the cars a little better. They're doing that. Tom said he's just figuring out kind of which lane his car likes the best on the track. So um, he'll get a little bit faster too here today. Um, they have two more practice sessions, I believe. I need to look at the schedule. Um, but it's a beautiful day, so I can't complain about that. All right, just heard Dad's shaking car was from a loose tie rod end. So they are getting that fixed up and hopefully the next practice he'll be able to get up to speed a little bit better and get a feel for what his car might have. get back uh, in a late model. Um, I was a little weak on the entries. I got to gotta fire it in a lot harder. The boys are on the gas. Pretty, first practice, pretty good. But uh, it was good to get out there with these guys and kind of watch their cars, the lines they're taking, where their cars are working. And uh, so I learned a lot. Put it in the memory bank here and uh, we'll get out another bite at the apple this afternoon.
20 minute session, I think. So hopefully they'll be able to get both of them quite a bit faster um, this time around. It's like a good place to watch the whole thing. I was doing better. 
we had a little bit of a self-adjusting brake bias uh, situation going on. And every time I touch the brake pedal, I got another turn of front brake. So by the time I came in, I had full front brake, no rear brake in the whole car. And uh, it was getting a little frustrating, but we found it. So we'll get that fixed and it should be better. That's good. Jabber here is working like a dog. What are you fixing? Well, we get a little brake issue on this car. And hopefully, we'll get her dialed in for the next practice. Hey, thanks to you, Jabber. Thanks to you.
can't keep up with the Fords. The Ford? The Fords. Fords. Well. You got you, big power. Yeah. Well, you know this place. So. No, well, man. I've, I've been looking for you. I'll have to tell Bruce where you are. Yeah, go. Yeah. All right. We'll see you. Good luck. I probably ran or something going down the road because the first two laps, the first lap and a half, it's going to be alright. I said it's going to fall off. It ain't falling off. Hey, Rose Hill's got it right there. Jabber is refueling the gas tank. Quite an important job you have here. Well, boys and girls, what we got here, we need to find a little speed with these late models. I don't know if this late model fuel is going to do it, but we're going to try it. Might do the trick. Good. I tried changing where I had the GoPros. That might be it. Just throw it, the weight off a little know, bit. It, yeah, it worked a little bit, I think. Picked up a couple of tenths. So. We'll take what we can take here. We're having a good time? Oh uh, yeah, matters. always a good time. Always a good time up here. Close to home for Jebber. He drives the truck and trailer, you know it, wherever. He drives it to Texas, Florida, California. Wisconsin, California, everywhere. So he is happy to be able to just go home tonight, relax. Don't have to stay in a hotel somewhere. My old bed. It's nice being in a race close to home. One down. Now Under more to go. What are you doing? Apparently somebody lost an axle out of their rear end today on the racetrack. So now we have to safety wire the bolts on the flanges, the axle. The dry oh. plate. Yeah. Alright. It's always something. Isn't it? The practice is all done for the day. Trevor's doing some last minute little kangaroos. We'll see how how it goes tomorrow. Maybe as good as I can. How's it going? Oh, it's going. I need a little bit of a longer piece here. <laughs> See, I think this right, is something that we do anyways. Please. Yeah. I'm sure. We usually, like I do most of the stuff, but we usually don't do these. But when you have someone that loses one, then they'll make do you it. do them. We, we got better tonight? the whole time. We're still working on it. We got we to pick up some speed. We're working on some stuff, some aero stuff that'll help us. We're a little bit off, but it's going to be hard beating the Fords anyway. It's all right. We'll do the best we can do. That's right. That's all you can do, right? That's right. What about you, Tom? Do you have any final words for, for tonight? Uh, 
get a good night's sleep and uh, we get another crack at the proverbial apple tomorrow and uh, we should be better. Um, working on setup stuff and getting Jamie's car to travel a little bit, getting my bias right on the brakes and I think uh, we'll be solid. We should race pretty good. It's uh, nice to get a test day to come up here and kind of catch up a little bit and get some time on the car. So uh, that's nice well, close that's, to home too. Yeah, it's nice so. close to home. Not a big sacrifice for everybody to get up here for a good day at the racetrack. First time out uh, for us for the year and uh, it's good, you know, the car's been one piece. We'll come back and do it again tomorrow. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching everybody. Check us out tomorrow for the qualifying and the race. Um, we'll provide some more coverage. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow.